teams from Southeast, St. Vincent, St. Mary, and Sandy Valley meet on the Nordson Academic Challenge. Welcome to the Nordson Academic Challenge. And now, here's your host from News 5, Rob Powers. Hi everybody, I am Rob Powers. Welcome to the 53rd season of the Nordson Academic Challenge. Today, the challenge is very simple. Three local high school teams compete for points. By answering questions, we have math, science, history, and other topics as well. The top five scoring teams this season will share in a total of $20,000 in grant money from Nordson. Then the top three will be right back here in the studio for our championship finale. That's where a grant of $6,000 is up for grabs. We start this morning where we always start with our lightning round. All three teams compete in this round. We award 10 points for a correct answer. We will subtract 10 points for an incorrect answer or no answer. Let's start every team with 100 points. Everybody ready to go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, uh, this is about fictional animals. You find animals in nursery rhymes and in great literature. See if you can identify the following. This animal is on a hot tin roof in a Tennessee Williams play title. St. Vincent, St. Mary. Cat. That is correct. This whale titles Melville's novel ab about <laughs> Captain Sandy Valley. Moby Dick. That is correct. In the title of a drama by Ibsen, this waterfowl is wild. <laughs> Sandy Valley. Duck. That is correct. An old fable tells of Androcles aiding this king of beasts. Answer? A lion. A lion. In Peter Pan, this dog watched out for the darling children. Answer? Sandy Valley. A Basson Hound? Nana. Need, looking for the name. At Hogwarts, you find this three-headed dog. Sandy Valley. Fluffy? Fluffy is correct. This type of dog is in the title of a Sherlock Holmes story about the Baskervilles. St. V. Basset Hound? Hound is correct. We'll take that hound. This red equine titles us uh, John Steinbeck novella. Answer is Pony. This is the name of the head pig in Animal Farm. St. V. Snowball. Napoleon is the answer. Napoleon. All righty, for our final lightning round question, here's Judy Hutter from the Cleveland APL. Here at the Cleveland Animal Protective League, we've been able to find loving homes for thousands of animals. Mostly we place dogs and cats, but we've even been able to find homes for what smaller animals, such as the fictional Stuart Little. Southeast. Mouse. That is correct, and that is the end of our round. We'll be back with more Nordson Academic Challenge right after this. Norton is honored to sponsor a program that celebrates academic excellence. We're a global industrial technology company with a long and proud history of giving back to the communities where we live and work. We donate 5% of our U.S. pre-tax profit to charity every year. Over the past 30 years, the Norton Corporation Foundation has donated more than $100 million and our employees have volunteered more than 100,000 hours. And now, we're pleased to support the legacy of Academic Challenge. Thank you all for watching, and the best of luck to all the participants. Today's judge from Cuyahoga Community College, Lisa Dabransky. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for being here this morning. Great to see you. And we welcome you back to the Nordson Academic Challenge. We're going to jump right back into our game with the Hot Picks round. One at a time, I'll ask each team eight questions. A correct response in this round is worth 20 points. No penalty here for a wrong answer. Any team answering all eight questions correctly will receive 25 bonus points. Our first team comes to us today from Southeast. Southeast offers many AP and CCP classes along with outstanding music, drama, athletic programs. The Vocational Agricultural Program is the only one in Portage County. For your question, Southeast, Xavier, we come to you from Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary. Envelope one, two, three, or four? Uh, two. 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 Southeast, these questions just for you. Set? Here we go. In 1913, America's Smithsonian Institution awarded a medal to what French engineer who had built the famous Paris Tower that bears his name? Um... Eiffel. Eiffel is correct. Although Montana is known for its warm hospitality, it's the site of a national park named for what sort of slow-moving mass of ice? 
Glacier. That is correct. Among other things, the Federalist Papers were concerned with laws regarding what type of criminals, such as Edward Teach or Captain Kidd? Pirates. Pirates is correct. Go to the monitor. Here's your science question. In discussing spontaneous combustion, you won't get burned if you correctly name which of these as the usual cause of spontaneous combustion. Um, static electricity. Slow oxidation is the answer. Slow oxidation, sorry. The country of Tunisia is the site of what ancient city-state destroyed by Rome at the end of the Punic Wars? Carthage. Carthage is correct. In 1938, thousands of Americans were terrified by Orson Welles' radio production of what science fiction story by H.G. Wells? War of the Worlds. That is correct. Back to the monitor. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as an integer. Ten. Ten. Ten is correct. The only U.S. president sworn in on board an airplane was what 36th chief executive sworn in in 1963 after the assassination of John F. Kennedy? Um, Lyndon B. Johnson. That is correct. Way to go, Southeast. Nice round. Okay, our second team this morning comes from St. Vincent St. Mary. St. Vincent St. Mary has been educating students for almost 125 years. St. V's offers a college preparatory education rooted in the Catholic faith. It's the only STEM-designed Catholic high school in Ohio. In 2020, St. Vincent St. Mary implemented a house system which allows students to grow in leadership, community service, and faith. For your question, St. V, we go to Chance from Sandy Valley. Chance, one, three, or four? One. One. All right, here we go, just for you, set. This year marks the 56th anniversary of what TV and film franchise focused on Captain Kirk and the Enterprise? Star Trek. That's correct. Connecticut may be one of our smaller states, but it has adopted as its state animal what sea creature that is the largest mammal? Blue whale. Blue whale. That is correct. What early American lawyer is famous not for his legal work, but for writing the words to the Star Spangled Banner? Yeah. He said it. Uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald. Francis Scott, Scott Key. Key. Scott. Francis Scott Key. Sorry about that. We move on. We go to the monitor here. Your science question. If iodine turns a substance bluish purple, then that substance contains which of these? Go for it. Fructose? Starch. Starch is the answer. Okay. When President Truman wrote about meeting with Uncle Joe, he was referring to what murderous Russian dictator who had met with Truman at Potsdam? Joseph Stalin. 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 Stalin is correct. If she were writing today, Mary Shelley might be awarded an honorary degree for writing what horror story masterpiece? Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Frankenstein is correct. Let's go to the monitor. Here's your math question. Taking positive roots, what is the value of this expression? 107, right? 107. 107 is correct. When leaving the White House to attend the inauguration of Benjamin Harrison, the wife of what outgoing president correctly predicted we are coming back here just four years from today. Who and who in non consecutive terms? Answer? Um, uh, Cleveland. Grover Cleveland is correct. Way to go, State Beach. Okay. All right, our third team this morning comes to us from Sandy Valley. Along with AP and CCP dual credit courses, Sandy Valley offers its over 500 students a variety of arts and athletic activities, horticultural studies, career tech programs as well. For your question, Sandy Valley, all the way down to Henry from Southeast, three and four is what we have left. Um, three, please. Three, all right, Sandy Valley, all of these just for you. Set, here we go. In Colonial Virginia, males were required to undergo military training at what age? Two years below the current minimum age for voting in federal elections. 16. 16 is correct. In North mythology, robins were associated with storm clouds and were sacred to what Norse god of thunder? Thor. Thor is correct. Toward the end of World War II, Japan authorized what divine wind pilots to make suicidal attacks on allied targets? Kamikaze. That is correct. To the monitor, here's your science question. Which of these compounds is used as a mild bleach? CH3OCH3? H-O-O-H, -O -O -H, hydrogen peroxide. 
Okay, according to the government, there are 574 Native American tribes in the U.S., the largest of which is what N initialed tribe, famous as code talkers in World War II. Answer? Navajo, Navajo. A collection of horror stories titled Just After Sunset is by what modern author of Four Past Midnight? Uh, Whitman. Stephen King, Stephen King. Back to the monitor. Here's your math question. To what power of Y is this expression equal? Seven. Seven is correct. Russian Tsar Alexander II and what American president shared the same unhappy fate of being assassinated in 1881? Lincoln. James Garfield. All right. That's a round, everybody. Woo! That's the end of that one. We'll be back with more questions and more answers right after this. Alrighty, welcome back to the Nordson Academic Challenge. Before we start our next round, we're going to take a look at the scores so far. We are in the middle of a tight game. In third place right now with 200 points, Sandy Valley. In second place with 230 points, the team from St. Vincent, St. Mary. Leading the way right now with 250 points is the team from Southeast. All but anything can happen now because it's time to go head-to-head -head once again. This is our picture-perfect round. Each correct answer here is worth 10 points. But for a wrong answer or no answer, we take away 10 points. Again, this is for all three teams. So hands on your buzzers, eyes on the monitor. Everybody set? Here we go. These guns were silenced when the battleship Nevada was sunk in an atom bomb test at what atoll that gave its name to a type of swimwear, St. V? Bikini. That is correct. Yeah. This Texas lake is named for what animal, the only Native American marsupial? Southeast. Um... Um, opossum? That is correct. This British World War I poster was inspired by the 1915 torpedo wing of what ship pictured in the background? St. V. Lusitana. Lusitania, we'll yeah. take that, yes. For what value of X does this proportion hold true? St. V. Uh, 10. 10 is correct. Though soldiers once used the old faithful geyser to do laundry, it now attracts tourists in what? St. V. Yellowstone. That is correct. The chlorophyll in plants has a molecular structure similar to human hemoglobin, but instead of iron, chlorophyll carries what element whose symbol is Mg? Southeast. Magnesium. That is correct. This is an example of what kind of humorous five-line poem made popular by Sandy Valley? Limerick. That is correct. This issue of Cleveland Magazine included an article about living without what mode of transportation revolutionized by Henry Ford, St. V. Cars. That is correct, and that's the end of that round. We'll be back with more Nordson Academic Challenge right after this. Okay, let's welcome the team advisors this morning from Sandy Valley. It's Jan Coates from Southeast, Mary Tarka. And finally today, here's Jeffrey Pitts from St. Vincent, St. Mary. Thank you all very much for being here. Thanks for bringing the kids. Thanks for everything you do. Okay, time now for our Mix It Up round. One at a time, I ask each team six questions. Uh, correct response here is worth 20 points. No penalty for a wrong answer. Any team answering all six questions correctly in this round receives 25 bonus points. First up, the team from Southeast. All set? Here we go. No matter what month it is, if you study this phrase, you can find the hidden name of what German capital city? Berlin. That is correct. Someone who is a somnambulist could be described as which of these? Um, sleepwalker. That is correct. It's in this volume of an, an old encyclopedia that you'd find an entry on what Middle East country that borders Israel and has its capital at Amman? Jordan. That is correct. Each of these major rivers is noted for what alluvial deposit at its mouth named for the fourth letter of the Greek alphabet? Delta. That is correct. If you were studying nuclear energy, you would know that which of these is the chemical symbol for cobalt? Um, CO. CO is correct, and that was big. This is for the bonus points. This comment was made by what pacifist who was quick to challenge the British colonial government when he led India to independence? Gandhi. 
Gandhi is correct for the bonus points. Yeah. Way to go, Southeast. All righty. St. Vincent, St. Mary, you're up now. All set? These questions just for you. Study this dogmatic phrase and see if you can find the hidden name of what northernmost New England state? Maine. Maine is correct. You'd have a difficult time as a doctor if you suffered from which of these conditions, which is a fear of blood? Hemophobia. Uh, hemophobia. Hemophobia is correct. Within this volume of an old encyclopedia, you can find an entry on what largest Canadian city? Toronto. Toronto. Toronto is correct. Meetings in these cities in 1944 and 1945 resulted in the founding of what international peacekeeping organization headquartered in New York? United Nations. Right? United Nations. That is correct. The chemical symbol of which of these elements is simply the letter B? Boron. Go uh, Boron. Boron is correct. And again, that was big. Here we go for the bonus points. This was the comment of what German who wrote Das Kapital and was the co-author, along with Engels, of the Communist Manifesto. Yeah. Karl Marx. Karl Marx is correct for the bonus points. All right, Sandy Valley, apparently it's that easy. All set? It's your turn now. Here we go. These questions just for you. Play with this phrase and see if you can find the last name of what Union general who marched through Georgia in 1864. Sherman. Sherman is correct. Which of these phobias indicates an excessive and unreasoning fear of fish? Ithichiophobia. Ithichiophobia, whatever you said was right. <laughs> <laughs> You'd look through this volume of an old encyclopedia to learn about what African-American scientists who found many new uses for peanuts. Answer? Carver. Carver is correct. On a trip to Alaska's three most populous cities, you'd visit these two plus what capital city? Juneau. Juneau is correct. Which of these is the chemical symbol for the inert gas xenon? XE. XE is correct. Here we go. Bonus points. This evaluation of Napoleon III was made by what Prussian chancellor for whom the capital of North Dakota is named? Windsor? Bismarck. Bismarck is what we were going for there. Sandy Valley, nice round. Way to go. That's the end of our round. We'll be back with our final and deciding grab bag round coming up right after this. To stay up to date on everything academic, visit us online at news5cleveland.com slash academic challenge and watch full episodes on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and other devices. Oh, welcome back to the Nordson Academic Challenge. Before we continue, we're going to recap the scores where they stand right now. In third place with 310 points, the team from Sandy Valley. In second place with 415 points, the team from Southeast. And leading the way right now with 425 points, the team from Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary. Okay, but hold on. Time now for the grab bag round. This is a free for all. Each correct answer is worth 20 points. A team will lose 20 points for a wrong answer or no answer. We also have some visual questions in here. They are worth 30 points. Be careful with those because an incorrect answer will cost you 30 points. Again, this is for all three teams. Hands on the buzzer, eyes on the monitor when we need it. All set? Here we go. In 2013, President Obama awarded a posthumous Medal of Freedom to what woman, the first American female astronaut to go into space? St. V. Judith A. Resnick. Sally Ride. Sally Ride. If you went berry picking on Strawberry Mountain or Huckleberry Mountain, you'd be in what West Coast state whose highest mountain is Mount Hood? St. V. Oregon. Oregon is correct. Peonies are lovely flowers, but the peony root was once used to treat diseases of what hepatic organ of the body? Answer is the liver, the liver. The yellow stripe on this flag represents the beaches on the islands making up what small Atlantic? St. Vincent, St. Mary. The Bahamas. Bahamas is correct. With a depth of seven miles, the deepest section of the Mariana Trench shares what name with the American space shuttle that broke apart southeast? Challenger. That is correct. 
Most people would appreciate having just one city named for them, but on what West Indies island did Juan Ponce de Leon give his name to both Ponce and San Juan? Southeast. Puerto Rico. That is correct. Choice, the process by which small hydrocarbon molecules join together to form heavier ones is called esterification, polymer polymerization, or saturation. Southeast. Polymerization. That is correct. You can rearrange the letters in this anagram to name what evil place, the notorious Civil War prison camp in Georgia. Answer, Andersonville. North Carolina is one of the few states with an official state reptile, the English box variety of what tortoise like? St. V. Turtle. That is correct. The area of a rhombus is 60. One diagonal is 10. What is the length of the other diagonal? Answer, buzzer hit, buzzer hit. The answer was 12. The answer was 12, we go to the scores. And let's start here. In third place, with 310 points, is the team from Sandy Valley. Finishing in a tie for first place, with, for 400, with 475 points. St. V's, Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary, and Southeast. You are tied right now at 475. We just go, we have one question, okay? Uh, right answer, you get the points. Wrong answer, you lose the points, okay? Be very careful, here we go. As a high school student, what man, the founder and first CEO of Amazon, began St. V? Jeff Bezos. That is correct for the game. Where'd he go? Hey, wow, what a game, what a morning. Be sure to join us next time. We'll feature teams from Green, Hoover, and Valley Forge. I'm Rob Powers. We'll see you back here soon for another Nordson Academic Challenge.